The earliest examples of visual representations in Iranian history may be traced back to the bas reliefs in Perspolis, c. 500 BC. Perspolis was the ritual center of the ancient kingdom of Achmanids and the figures at Perspolis remain bound by the rules of grammar and syntax of visual language. During the Sasanian reign, Iranian visual arts reached a pinnacle. A bas-relief from this period in Taqi Bostan depicts a complex hunting scene. Similar works from the period have been found to articulate movements and actions in a highly sophisticated manner. It is even possible to see a progenitor of the cinema close-up in one of these works of art, which shows a wounded wild pig escaping from the hunting ground. In the early 20th century, Five-year-old industry of cinema came to Iran. The first Iranian filmmaker was Mirza Ebrahim Khan, Akaz Bashi, the official photographer of Mozaffar al-Din Shah of Qajar. He obtained a camera and filmed the Shah's visit to Europe, upon the Shah's orders. In 1904, Mirza Ebrahim Khan, Saf Bashi, opened the first movie theater in Tehran. After him, several others like Rusi Khan, Ardshir Khan and Ali Vakili tried to establish new movie theatres in Tehran. Until the early 1930s, there were little more than 15 theatres in Tehran and 11 in other provinces. The first silent Iranian film was made by Professor Ovenzo Zoanian in 1930, and the first sounded one, Law Girl, was made by Abdul Hassan Sepanta in 1932. The 1960s was a significant decade for Iranian cinema with 25 commercial films produced annually on average throughout the early 60s, increasing to 65 by the end of the decade. The majority or production focused on melodrama and thrillers, with the screening of the films Kaiser and the Cow, directed by Masoud Kimiai and Dariush Majui respectively in 1969. Alternative films established their status in the film industry. Attempts to organize a film festival that had begun in 1954 within the framework of the Golrazin Festival, bore fruits in the form of the Seppers Festival in 1969. The endeavors also resulted in the formation of the Tehran World Festival in 1973. After the revolution of 1979, as the new government imposed new laws and standards, a new age in Iranian cinema emerged, starting with Viva, by Khosrow Sinai and followed by many other Iranian directors who emerged in the last few decades, such as Abbas Kirostami and Jafar Panai. Kirostami, who some critics regard as one of the few great directors in the history of Iranian cinema, planted Iran firmly on the map of world cinema when he won the Palme d'Or for Taste of Cherry in 1997. The continuous presence of Iranian films in prestigious international festivals, such as the Cannes Film Festival, the Venice Film Festival, and the Berlin Film Festival, attracted world attention to Iranian masterpieces. In 2006, six Iranian films, of six different styles, represented Iranian cinema at the Berlin Film Festival. Critics considered this a remarkable event in the history of Iranian cinema. Askar Farhadi, a well-known Iranian director, has received a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, and was named as one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine in 2012. Other well-known Iranian directors include Mohsen Maik Malbaf, Majid Majidi, Baram Bizai, Baman Gobadi, Rakshan Banyatmid, Amin Adri, Ali Hatami and Riza Mukarami, Marjan Satrapi, Shogged Ashlu, Nazan and Boniadi, Shaira Nishat, Amir Mokri, Baha Sumek, Amir Talai, Nasim Bedrad, Darush Shokov, and Rosie Malek Yonan are among cinema people in the Iranian diaspora. The oldest records of animation in Iran date back to the late half of 3rd millennium BC. An earthen goblet discovered at the site of the 5,200-year-old burnt city in southeastern Iran, depicts what could possibly be the world's oldest example of animation. The artifact bears five sequential images depicting a Persian desert ibex jumping up to eat the leaves of a tree. The art of animation, as practiced in modern-day Iran, started in the 1950s. After four decades of animation production in Iran and three-decade experience of Kanun Institute, Tehran International Animation Festival, TF, was established in February 1999. Every two years, 
participants from more than 70 countries attend this event which holds the biggest national animation market in Tehran.